At the International Stroke Conference in New Orleans, Dr. Maria Gleemore tells us declining memory is associated with stroke. While some age-related memory decline is normal, Dr. Maria Gleemore saw a doubling of this rate of decline in stroke survivors, and those who died from a stroke lost their memory three to four times faster than control subjects. One hypothesis is that, in fact, um, the memory loss is a sign of underlying disease. We were looking four or five years prior to onset of stroke that maybe even that much earlier people are experiencing memory changes associated with cerebrovascular disease. At this point, in fact, the people who had stroke, um, although on average they were having faster memory decline and over our follow-up period they had lower memory on average, in fact there was a big distribution. So on any individual level we can't say that this person's memory is so bad it predicts stroke. We think that there's probably some physiologic manifestation in that um, individuals with um, maybe having TIAs, maybe having a little bit of vascular disease that's tiny bits of his community that are not actually diagnosable as clinical stroke. They don't cause major neurologic symptoms that persist, but are causing subtle memory deficits. It may also be important behaviorally, and we don't know whether memory loss is, is compromising people's ability to do things like manage stroke risk factors, manage their hypertension, manage diabetes. Um, that's an interesting question that we think is possible, at least. There may be a time when memory becomes a useful tool to assess stroke risk. I think that because there's so much within-person variability in memory, just in healthy adults, there's a tremendous amount of within-person variability, that if we're going to use it in that way, it's more likely that the change the person experiences would be informative than their level at any given point in time. Dr. Steven Greenberg, a spokesman for the American Heart Association, has some theories about these findings. In terms of the actual cause and effect, I think it's a little unclear still. Uh, one possibility that uh, that Dr. Gleemore pointed to was the idea that there might be some uh, unnoticed strokes going on over time that have caused these people to have such um, uh, bad trajectory of memory loss and that uh, those are people then when they finally have a symptomatic stroke uh, have very little reserve left and are most likely to die from, from that stroke.